Right now at 6 o'clock, the sheriff is speaking out about an attack on a police officer who was beaten up in broad daylight at this Walmart on Phillips Highway yesterday. The accused attacker, 40-year-old Joseph Merrill, was quickly arrested. He's facing a list of charges, including attempted murder and possession of a weapon by a convicted felon. News for Jack's reporter, Marilyn Parker, joins us live from police headquarters. Marilyn, I know that you've talked with Sheriff T.K. Waters. What could he tell you about the injured officer? So when I spoke with him earlier today, he said he had not spoken with this officer, but yesterday he said that she was in good spirits. When we got the report today, it detailed her having blood from her mouth after this attack. And today attorneys in court were saying the only reason this attack stopped was because another officer quickly intervened and saved her life. Um, and we'll take Joseph Merrill out of order. Joseph Merrill wasn't in court Friday. He's accused of beating up an officer on Thursday. This suspect was on top of the police officer, bashing her head in and caused her significant injuries. Reports say he was caught shoplifting $176 worth of items when the officer approached him outside the store. This is the Walmart, and according to the report, the attack happened somewhere along this sidewalk. Now, a detective driving on Phillips Highway saw the attack, and he drove over a median, started chasing Merrill on foot, then eventually tackled him to the ground. The report says the officer's alert button was going off, and while Merrill was beating the officer, he grabbed her radio and threw it away from her. His charges include attempted murder, possession of a weapon by a convicted felon, resisting officer with violence, and depriving an officer means of protection or communication. His public defender tried to get the charge reduced to aggravated battery. He didn't use any weapons. He didn't... Um... He just used his hands. But let's go back to a case in 2020. An Atlantic Beach officer was beaten, knocked unconscious, and had to undergo facial reconstructive surgery. His attacker pleaded guilty to attempted second-degree murder and was sentenced to 10 years in prison. And that same year, Merrill punched another officer when she approached him about a stolen car. He served 615 days in jail. If a person is willing to do that to a police officer, consider what that person is willing to do to a citizen. Um, so I don't think it's enough. Sheriff T.K. Waters says this JSO officer did things the right way. Are we considering anything different when it comes to protecting our officers on the street? Well, yeah, I mean, we train all the time, you know, whether it be with how we talk to individuals and how we approach them, how we do our use our tactics to keep ourselves safe. But in a situation like that, she's just doing her job. You know, she's having a, t a discussion, a conversation and out of nowhere, he attacks and um, it's uncalled for, it's cowardly. Inside Merrill's duffel bag, police say they found a small hatchet. That's why he was charged with that weapons possession. Also, the judge set bond for $810,000. His arraignment is set for March 16th. We're live at JSO tonight. Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, the local station.